sight. I wonder what the new neighbours are going to be like. Oh, I wish Ned had never gone. You knew where you were when Ned loved her. Eh, hey, love? There might be some lass in that family, someone for you to get to know. Who well, might if there were? She won't be interested in me. Ah, you got a part, Lisa. <laughs> Don't listen to him. That Emily was just a bit odd. You'll make some girl very happy one day. Ow. I have to go now. Now, whoever they are, I hope you'll make them very welcome. Of course we will. We'll roll out the dingo red carpet. <laughs> You've heard of neighbours from hell, haven't you? Yes. Neighbours from heaven. That's us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm try and bring a smile back to Butch, won't you? See you, love. Bye. Oh, bye, love. All you need is fresh air, a bit of exercise, and some cash in your pocket. <laughs> We're going robbing the new neighbours, aren't we, Dad? Of course we are. You got a problem with that? No. No. Robin's the only thing that I'm good at. Oh, you're all right, Butch, but there's always room for improvement. I'm going to give you a masterclass on Robin. Think of it as quality time. Huh? <laughs> Mark, you coming down or what? Saying goodbye to his room. What's he doing, writing a letter? With the cat's eye, the John and the needles will come off. Yeah, okay. I mind the needles. That boy is not right. Mark, just try and be helpful. It's not easy leaving here. It is. We walk out the door and we're gone. And I want some cooperation from you. He's whining. I'm not. I'm happy to leave. Why are you suddenly so positive about moving? Lots of new people to meet. Remember, just because someone's your neighbour don't mean you have to get to know them. Don't start, Angie. We're going to give the Dingles a fair chance, all right? You always expect the worst. That's your problem. Yeah. And I'm not often disappointed. Have you seen the time? Come on, we're going to be late. I want to ask Mum. Don't. Why not? All our mates are going. I want to go. If they can afford it, Jack and Sarah can't. How do we know if we don't ask? Ask what? Nothing. Robert? Nothing. What are you whispering about? Tell me. Are we going to be late? See you later. Bye. Just a minute. I want to see the cheque before you hand it over. 75,000 quid. Oh, I just want to see it. So I'm going to all be sorted. Today, it should be all finalised today. Oh, Alan, could I have the morning off? I need a few hours to sort out the loan. Final, you know, final oh. details. Having trouble with your bank manager? My bank manager and I are the best of friends. I'll be back by lunchtime. Yes, of course. No problem at all. You've nothing to say, Trisha. You're not usually too keen on Bernice having any unscheduled time off. If she's going to buy the pub, she can do what she likes. Ah, well, I, I'm glad you've accepted that. Uh, to tell the truth, I never thought you'd raise the money. Granddad? Trisha, I've got every faith in you, but it takes a lot more than charm and personality to conjure up £75,000, doesn't it, Bernice? That's right, Alan. So this morning, all day, he's leaving, right, and I say, see you there, Beth, and he looks straight through me. He's making a supper, isn't he? But why does she say no? I mean, it's Beth and Kathy. It's like, it's like, it's like burger and chips. It's the perfect combination. Shh, shh. Morning, love. <coughs> Beth. Oh, morning, Betty. Beth? Beth, love. Sorry. Yeah, so am I. We're both really sorry, all right? I mean, we shouldn't have encouraged you to ask a like that in front of all them people. No, you shouldn't. But we was only trying to help, love. You forgive us, don't you? Yeah, if you keep your noses out in future. OK. But, I mean, you didn't stop at hers last night. This morning you get a nice little kiss. Just tell us, what's that all about? Just won't drop it, will you, Marlon? You're right, I'm sorry. But, I mean... Was it a Just Good Friends kiss? Was it an engaged to be married kiss? Or... Look, I'm taking it easy, all right? Yeah, I reckon you should... Marlon! Hey, are you concentrating? Of course I am. Hey, love doesn't pay the bills. Always remember that. Dad, just stay off the subject, all right? But fine. This is lesson one of your masterclass. Pick your spot and do a recce. I don't need a masterclass. 
You're never too old for a refresher. Quiet. Hey, you know the three priorities of doing a good robbery, son? Timing, timing, and timing. <laughs> right, we've got a 50 second window. You ready? Go. Right, good lad. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Trisha, could I have a word? Oh, I'll talk to you later, man. Finally. Yeah. That's what's the news, love. Trisha. What's up with her? She's just excited. Could you spare me a moment of your very valuable time, please? Oh, sorry, Eric. What can I get you? Nothing. What? Could you, um, could you take a break later? Why? Rhoda, could you pop by the barn in a little while? I'd like to, um, as I say, um, have a word. What's all this about? It's private. Trisha? Uh, yeah, OK, I'll be along later. Ah, good. Right, well, uh, I'll be off then. Mm. Hey, you know what it wants, don't you? What? You never met his wife, Dee, did you? She was a couple of years older than you. He likes them young. Are you saying he fancies me? Oh, wake up, Trish. You saw the way he was looking at you. A quiet chat in the barn. What do you think he wants? Blimey. Remember what happened with Terry? You want to put Pollard straight. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Only when you come in, you look a bit uptight. I'm just tired, sweetheart. Give us a smile, then. A smile like it. So, what's the news? What's in the notepad? Oh, just my notes, you know, me and my lists. So, is it all settled, then? All my life, I've wanted this, Gavin. Perfect job, the perfect man, country pub, nice circle of friends. The thing is... The thing is, you're not sure if I feel the same way. Well, I'll be honest, Benny, it's not exactly been my dream. But you convinced me. Me and you running this place together, it'll be great. Oh, Kevin. So? They're putting the cheque in the post. It should arrive next week. Dad, there's a car coming. Come on! You're not finished yet. Hey, this is a big job, this. Don't forget, your son's cactuses need special handling. Let's have lunch in the pub and come back. Yeah, all right. Who was that? No idea. Hey, what part of the masterclass was that, then? Memorisation. Come on, we'll do one more run and then we'll get this stuff inside. <sighs> now then, I... Uh... I understand this marriage question has become a little bit cloudy. Is that right? No, it hasn't, Betty. Cathy, love, I know it's none of my business, but I'm asking you as a friend. I just want to see you happy. I am happy. You know, sometimes it takes a really bad row to make you realise how much you care about somebody. I felt terrible after that scene in the wall pack, but it made me realise how much I care about Biff. I just hope it's all right. So the marriage is off. Oh. If. Yeah. Do you fancy coming around for dinner tonight? Uh, yeah, I would love to. Is it Graham going to be there? No, he's busy with the summer fair. It'll just be the two of us. Mm. What's going on? The ways of the human art, Marlon, are very mysterious. So you don't know, then? I'm got a clue. Then we're going to have to make some serious cutbacks. 
Have you noticed Robert and Andy behaving oddly lately? I've noticed them not pulling their weight around the farm, as usual. They're keeping something secret. I heard them whispering about it this morning. Sarah, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you about money. We haven't got any. I'm really not interested in the boys' little secrets. If I see Andy hiding something, I hear alarm bells. <sighs> Can we talk about one thing at a time? That's all right. Cutbacks. Why don't we start with lunchtime drinks? Mm. Hiya, Sean. I didn't see you at the yard this morning. Day off. We're moving. You're moving today? Yeah. Did the Glovers all down? We're your new neighbours. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Hey, Mandy, come and meet us new neighbours. I'm Lisa. Sean's probably told you about me. Angie. Mandy. Hey, it's it funny, cos I was only wondering this morning who our new neighbours were going to be, what they were going to be like. Well, now you know. Well, I hope we'll be the best of friends. Darling, did you miss us? Hey, stash that stuff in the corner. Now, if Lisa asks, we bought a job lot of stuff for selling at a car boot sale. <laughs> Hell, that butch is the end of the masterclass. So, you feeling better? Not really. Hardly any effort. Had any risk? Nice little profit. It's what you might call the perfect crime. Can I have that cup of tea now? You can. You and me can put our feet up and relax. We've earned it. Anyway, anything you want, you just let me know. Thanks, Lisa. We'll be all right. Maybe we should drop by now, meet Zach, have a cup of tea. Me and that's probably too busy. Mm, might not be the right time. Well, just a quick one, then we can be on the spot whilst they finish moving us in. Is anything wrong? Oh, no, no, of course not. Yeah, that would be nice. We'd like that, wouldn't we, Sean? Yeah, I'm sure Zach will be looking forward to meeting you. Hey, Dad, can we keep this? Huh? Ah, oh, good idea. Plug it in and fire it up. I'm getting peckish. Yeah. Hey, this is great, isn't it? We got their electricity, their toaster. All we need now is their bread. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hello, I weren't expecting you. Hello, love. But we've got visitors. Afternoon. What are you doing here? Visiting. You need a warrant to come in here. Hey, stop kidding, Zach. He's only kidding. What's wrong here? Sean and Angie are our new next door neighbours, Uncle Zach. All right. I just brought them round so they could uh, get to know the family. Hey, put in a slice for me. We haven't had our lunch yet. <laughs> Trisha, wasn't sure you were going to come. Oh, I'm just the curious type. Can you be discreet? Why? Because I have something serious and very private I want to say to you. <laughs> I think maybe I should say something to you first. Hmm? Maybe you saw me and Terry together and got the wrong idea. I'm not really one for the older men. Thirty's probably my limit. What? I mean, no offence, but you're almost drawing your pension, ain't you? Trisha! I'm not remotely interested in your body. Oh. I'm interested in the wall pack. I believe you want to buy it. Yeah. So do I. Separately, we don't stand a chance together. It's as good as ours. <laughs> what happened to my toast? Uh, toast is broken. Where'd you get this? Shh. Oh, never mind. I'll uh, make us all a nice cup of tea. <laughs> you seem a bit nervous, Zach. Uh, just worrying about Belle. Uh, come and have a look at her. You too, Sean. She's a little beauty. Dad? What? Uh, Let's not disturb her. Uh, lad's right, yeah. Uh -huh. I thought you said it was broken. Uh -huh. That's full of surprises. So tell me why you need me. I ain't got no money. Why don't you just buy it on your own? I'm not allowed a licence because of uh, previous difficulties with the wine bar. So I'm looking for a popular villager. A sensible, clever one to be my partner. We'd be partners. 
We run the wall pack together. Uh, of course, I'll draw up a contract for you to sign. Oh, I can't wait to tell everyone. Uh, no, um, this deal uh, depends on secrecy. It has to be on a need-to-know basis. Who needs to know? You do. Who else? No one. Why? Uh, we agreed, didn't we, um, that I'm the businessman. For this deal to go through, uh, because of licensing difficulties and to avoid any rival bids, my involvement must be kept secret. Right. All right, Eric. You can rely on me. Good. Most satisfactory. Partners, then. Partners. Do you mind if I pick her up? Uh, uh, no, I just thought of something. What? I saw him this morning. Oh. And I made a mental note. I, I must tell the new neighbours. Tell us what? But show and all, didn't you? Two blokes, suspicious like, hanging about around the Glover's house. Now, I don't know, but maybe they were thinking people moving in could be an opportunity, you know what I mean? Hey, he's right, you know. Because when there's a move on, there's always unlocked doors, isn't there? And loads of packing cases full of stuff. You know, just wait to be in it, really. Some people can be so low. We'd better check it out. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, bye then. Very nice to have met you. Cheers. Yeah, uh, must have a pint sometime. Bye. Yeah, bye. Thanks for the tea. See, they weren't so bad. What did you bring them round for? <sighs> Angie invited herself. Still, it went off all right, though, didn't it? Well, yeah, grand. What was all that stuff about needing a warrant? For a minute, I thought he'd done something really stupid. What are you doing? Well, I realise you've got more important things on your mind than our children, but I just get nervous if I think Andy's keeping secrets. Have you seen this? What is it? It's about a school trip to France. Why do you think they didn't mention it? Are we eating yet? We're starving. Is this what you were whispering about this morning? Have you been in my back? Why didn't you tell us about it? We didn't want to go. I ate French food. We did want to go. But we didn't think you could afford it. Well, that was very sensible of you. Yeah. Yeah, it was very thoughtful of you, but... But firstly, I don't want either of you keeping secrets from us, and... And secondly, your education is always a priority. Do you understand? Does that mean we can go? Yeah. Yeah, of course you can. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> but I'm not packing you lunches. You have to eat French food. Jack, we're about to eat. Well, I've got work to do. So, what's the next move, then? Well, I think we're going to have to do as Biff says. Leave the pair of them to sort it out. I suppose so. I mean, obviously, we'll have to give them a little advice whenever we feel it's appropriate. It's only friendly, isn't it? What are they coming in tonight? Good news, Alan. The marquee is sorted. Uh, can we expect Bernice to be hosting the beer tent? Yeah, I'm sure you can. I must have a word with her about it. No need, Grandad. I'll organise it. Well, this is quite a complicated task, my dear. And you think I'm not up to it? No. No, I'm, I'm sure you can handle it. I'll inform the brewery. Thanks, Grandad. It uh, does seem more like the bar manager's job. Oh, it'll be good practice when I take over the pub. Trisha, I thought we'd settled that. My circumstances might have changed. It's good business to keep your options open. Where do you think you're going to get the money from? Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. Customer needs serving. <sighs> I expect Seth has come up with some foolish scheme to get her hopes up, but don't think too well of her. Her pride took quite a knock this morning. <laughs> What's all this whispering about? Trisha has volunteered herself to do the beer tent at the summer fair. And, wait for it, she suddenly thinks she can find the money to buy the pub. Well, I don't think that's very amusing. Well, no, even Turner don't believe her. There's no way can she get a loan out of the blue, is there? And even if she did, it not matter, because we've got it all wrapped up, haven't we? I don't like her sounding confident. Oh, relax. 
As soon as that check arrives, me and you are taking charge, eh? If you want to go to the war park, that's OK. No, I'd rather stay here with you. Besides, if I went round there, I'm sure Marlon and Betty would do a pincer movement on us. Well, they'd move in on me, she'd come round here. Yeah, they'd only interrogate us. Yeah, and then swap notes afterwards to see if her story's matched. Does it make you uncomfortable? No. Well, to be honest, it makes me laugh. Yeah, it's taken me a couple of days to get over it, but I think you're right. We should just take us time. Yeah, that's the way I see it. So, um, you didn't feel like staying last night? Well, that's what I mean. You know, we shouldn't have to feel as though we've always got to be together. Beth, I just want everything to be back the way it was. Yeah, so do I. Let's just take things slowly. Oh, we're OK now, aren't we? Yeah. Of course we are. We're fine. Dad, some of my stuff's gone missing. Like what? Your prize beetroot. Well, I can't find my CD player. Well, look in another packing case. Everything will turn up eventually. Have you seen the toaster? Oh, don't you start. What do you mean? These two reckon they've lost some stuff. Maybe they have. Absolutely not. Pete's completely reliable. I'm not talking about Pete. I'm thinking of someone a little closer to home. The Dingles. You're never off duty, are you? Has he got my stuff? Don't know. I intend to find out first thing tomorrow. What is all this rubbish? At least you don't. Uh, I'll move it tomorrow. What do you mean, don't? I want to see what it is. It's a surprise. What is this? Great, isn't it? I picked it up off this bloke. <laughs> With some other stuff. You've been on the rub, haven't you? No. Well, yeah. I'll tell you something, though. It cheered Butch up. Whose is it? Well, th that's the problem. Go on! Now, look, I, I didn't know. Whose is it? It belongs to the Reynolds. Oh, stop it, our neighbours! No, when we nicked the stuff. They haven't moved in yet. Oh. They were still strangers then. Not to me. Sean is one of my customers. Yeah, but you didn't nick the stuff, though, did you? You see my point? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to take that stuff round to them tomorrow morning and give it all back. Lisa, be reasonable, woman. I can't do that. She's a copper. If you don't, I'm going to shop you. Lisa. That is my I... final word, Zach. 